Uh, 25 to 6. All my brakes are done. I checked all the fluids. Both pumpkins. I checked the uh, transfer case. I noticed that two vacuum lines weren't um, hooked up onto the transfer case. <coughs> so, um, I hooked them up and um, I tried my truck. You know, started it, put it in four wheel drive, and my light came on. Took it out of four wheel drive, and my light went off. Now, I did wiggle all the wires and shit like that, so. And um, I can't find a leak anywhere. I think what happens is my back pads were so low. Something, somewhere, I don't know. I just, I. Oh, wait, what's that? No, oh, that's me sticking my finger in there. I think. Oh, that's transmission. I'm going to go around ch uh, tightening, uh, checking all that. The uh, number 10s around my transmission uh, pan. And that, so yeah. Because I wasn't leaking before. But I didn't touch it. <laughs> Funny. And that, so yeah, so everything's up. Transfer case is a little low. I'll have to uh, top that up. But there's the lines right there. I don't know if you guys can see them good enough. But you'll see those two things right in the center. Well, those are vacuum lines. And um, they weren't hooked up. They actually just slide on <laughs> to these um, just rubber fucking things that slide over a steel hollow fucking brake line looking thing. And that's so, all. Yeah, but uh, big difference. Like I said, you know, lube all this shit up because this, you know, this does move back and forth, eh? And, um, you know, because the piston pushes out and then it pushes in. So, seize that brake ain't cool, man. You ain't gonna stop. <laughs> and that's so. all. So, I was check checking underneath all the, um, you know, steering and shit like that and um, everything appears to be tight but like I said the uh, the upper ball joint on the driver's side is um, you know it's got a little bit of play so I don't know how much they are I will find out though but I'm going to do upper and lower at the same time and um, I'm also do my tie rod at the same time too So, yeah, I got these stupid extra clippings, I don't know what the fuck they're for, probably spotlights, who knows. <sighs> so, yeah, there, yeah, but I'm going to go in the house there, see what's going on in there, I load these videos up, but my brakes are done, nice, nice brakes, never noticed, I had new uh, lug nuts on my, uh, on my front end, huh? Imagine that, eh? These real hubs bearings are fucking crazy to do, man. <laughs> you got these uh, 16 pointers, fucking bolts on the back, and all that stuff. And, um, yeah. But they're like, uh, they're on sale. 150 bucks, I think. They were almost 200, so it cost me 300 for two of them. Uh, that took a li took away a lot of shaking in the front end, so I had those replaced. So since I've owned it now, I've had to put wheel bearing hubs in my brakes, which is standard. Tires, that was for safety. And uh, now I'm going to do upper and lower ball joints. And I don't have to pay anybody to do that because I have the tool to um, pressure, uh, push it, you know, pop it out and pop it back in because it's going to be such a tight fit. I just put the back to it. It's also good for U joints too, which I should check U joints too, but I never hear any clunking, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad I'm making videos again, but I. Fuck, hate doing it from my phone because I can't see what you guys see. 
I mean, I could flip the screen so this way I can see what I'm looking at. And then um, I tried it once and it was like the camera was upside down or something. I'll have to try it and then load it up and see what it does because uh, my screen's in the back. So, uh, I never checked the Camaro. There should be some brake fluid there. I'm going to have to, you know, I got uh, extra mortar oil, uh, windshield washer fluid for the summer in the winter here. And, um, you know, I have that stuff on stock. I just don't have no um, brake fluid. Um, I used to do a lot of brakes and uh, uh, mortar jobs, like change mortar for people. And But I do brakes and, you know, change whatever parts. And that's, I used to do that a lot before I just started into the body work. And then, um, and then I was doing both of it for the longest time. And then I just... I was like, I ain't touching nobody's vehicles anymore. For the reason is because if something happens, it can bite you in the ass. And, um, you know, working on my own vehicle, that's a different story, you know what I mean? But I don't want someone coming back and saying, well, you know, you didn't tighten the lug nut or something. You know, uh, sorry, man. I got, I got a fucking impact that says it is tight. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... But yeah, now I don't know what this is, it might be a brake line leak, I don't know man, it could be, it looks like it eh, that might be where my, and it is kind of all, you know what I mean, stained there, that means I gotta drop my damn tank, one side's not bad, the other side, well, <laughs> That's a different story, they say. But I think I have brake lines here. Be positive I do. I got a flaring tool and shit like that. But living out here, you know what I mean. I want to make sure I have everything because if I start chopping things now, that just means um, I have to look for a ride to town. So I'm just gonna make sure I get all the proper lines. And shit like that. And then um, I'll just find some brake fluid. There's got to be something somewhere around here. And um, and that. But I'll let you guys go. So I'm going to go see what's going on in the house. i got to wash my hands, change my pants. Because I don't like to have grease on my pants while I'm doing body work. And that. So, But uh, I'll see what else I have coming up today. Since I did change my uh, brakes... This went up, but this guy's empty. I think he's the back. That doesn't make sense, though. Why the smaller one would be the back. I don't know. I got a book here. Every time I buy a different vehicle, I always buy the book. The Bible. It doesn't tell you everything. You know what I mean? But there is really good information in it. Right here. You know, it's not like the real deal, but... Um, you know, they'll tell me stupid things like that, but, um, you know, there is some good information in here, though, in these books, you know, torque specs and shit like that, my torque specs is fucking with a pipe on the end of my ratchet, okay, my friends, I'll let you guys fly for now, and, uh, I'll see you guys in a bit, yep.